Welcome to another Chesterfield Canal video. I chose the noisiest place in the world to record this intro. It's by the old flour mill. Or, it's not really old is it? It's still in use by the sounds of things. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to be looking at the section. We're going to be walking down the section from Wirks up to Retford. So Chesterfield Canal, 46 miles long from West Stockwith to Chesterfield or vice versa as we've been doing it. Um, we're on the I suppose the second half now we're on the eastern section east uh, of Worksop so today next stop is Retford about I think it's about 10 miles so we've got a little bit of a, a trek in front of us but I do hear that there's a pub en route so it's not all bad news is it so let's just have a quick look at our trusty map taken from the Chesterfield Canal Trust website so everything to the west of Worksop there including the disused sections we've covered quite extensively on other videos there we can see our next section that we're covering today that winds itself from Worksop to Retford. So here's where we left you on that last video all that time ago. Worksop Town Lock in Worksop Town Centre. Don't think I'd want to be cycling through here at the minute. There's so much broken glass on the towpath. Got, got the straddle and cuckoo wharf here in the old crane it's gone under the road bridge let me just get out of this very bit of a stench down here people use it as a toilet there's the old crane This is underneath the, the straddle. I don't know what its correct name is. So it was last July, July 2021, when I last did that last um, last section up to Worksop from Kiverton Park. Now I thought I'd leave it till this summer, and I have had a few aborted attempts at doing this, um, weather related, other things related. But we're here now, it's August 2022, it's a lovely day, not too warm, but nice and sunny. First bridge, I love this little bridge, little lattice work on the top there. This is bridge 43. It's a bit better view, not looking into the sun isn't it? of boats what I am hopeful of looking forward to maybe seeing a few more narrow boats on this section I know the canals currently closed west of Shire Oaks due to water levels um, but you don't there is a few boats on on that section but it's not very often you, you do see sea boats making it all the way down they do of course that's not a, a blanket roll it's just that they're not as common as we're closer to the river trent i'd expect there to be more boats um east of, of where we are that's brace bridge lock lock number 51 chimney you can see in front that's the old sewage works the old water treatment works i'll tell you a bit bit more about that as we get closer that's bridge 44. that's the other side of uh, bridge 44 brace bridge so that's the brace bridge pumping house it's from the uh, from the i can't remember the exact date from the last quarter of the 1800s so it was basically water treatment works what a beautiful old building and chimney now and I can see through the window you can't really get close to it I'd love to go and have a look a closer look at that building the building house is just behind it but the last I was reading up on it last year and they are meant to be turning it into flats or apartments but it's still all fenced off I can't see any any signs of any work being done whatsoever couple of pigeons on the roof it's about the only things living there at the moment so 
So the canal's curving round the old building now. Get a bit of a better look at it from this side, can't you, with the sun shining on the side. So this is first of a few aqueducts that we're gonna see today. I think it's the river right in this. Let's get down, there's a, there's a path at the side here. We'll go down and have a, a look. There we go. Three arches. And remember my video on the Brankley feeder, you might not have seen it, you might have seen it, but I think this section of the canal through Worksop is fed from um, water from there. But I believe we do have another feeder. I'm just looking around for it that, that joins the canal um, just in front of us here. I think it's the feeder, it comes from the River Wrighton in, uh, in, Chest in Chesterfield, in Worksop and it runs through the um, the little park in the middle of the town called the Canch. I'm not seeing it, have I missed it? It's Kilton Lock, block number 52. So there's that feeder in there, look. There's not much water flow. I missed it, I walked straight past that, just by, uh, by the side of Kilton Lock. I didn't even notice it was, uh, it was water comes out here somewhere so obviously you probably you may or may not know the path we're walking on is called the cuckoo way which is the name given to the path that runs the entire 46 miles so you can get on this path up at Chesterfield near Chesterfield train station and follow it all the way through the disused sections and all the way out to the River Trent it's called the cuckoo way after, well, this canal was nicknamed the Cuckoo Dyke, named after the cuckoo boats. Of course, the canal was opened in 1777, built by James Brindley, who didn't actually survive to see the canal opening. So, it is approaching, in five years' time, it's approaching its 250th birthday. 22 mile, mile post. overspill down there right so we're coming up to the railway bridge now this is the Worksop Retford Lincoln line and this was Great Central originally so we've got another little bridge first it's a little access bridge by the looks of things and there's the railway bridge we've got another bridge further on arch bridge a new bridge I think that's just a just a minor road or a, a private road, memory serves me correctly. Manton Viaduct. That's had a bit of strengthening work done on there, hasn't it? Old rails all the way along, look, every arch. So this bridge, this is as far as I've ever been before, so we really are on new territory after this bridge. Now, I'll show you this, it's quite a really clever solution to a problem. Looks like it's had a little bit of rebuilding work done on that, if, if not new altogether actually, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really clever solution to a problem. So you've got to think back, horse-drawn boats, the towpath needed to cross from one side of the canal to the other side of the canal and there's a way of doing that without having to unhook the horses from the boats so quite a big time saver so I'll show you so we go up the towpath on this side rope still connected to the boat obviously this tree wouldn't have been here all right so we're on the on the bridge rope still connected going over that way boats down there horse comes down here rope still connected and under the bridge and there we go we've crossed the canal without having to uh, to disconnect the horse from the boat and that's bridge number 46 
So let us know if you know where there's another type of bridge that does that function elsewhere that you've seen. Leave us a comment. Beautiful walk. But look how clear the canal is, can you see? And you can see the weeds underneath. There's number 23, nearly missed that. That's, uh, that's not that visible from the towpath as you can see. Nice and white. Uh, well, that's it, that's officially halfway point on the Chesterfield Canal. So that way to Chesterfield and that way to the River Trent. They look like railway sleepers, don't they? Those you can see where the, the track chairs were. What a lovely, peaceful walk this is! So rural, so relaxing. I think I've seen one other person trying to get into a canoe just under the last bridge there to give him an hand because he was the canoe was kind of floating away as it is you half in. I think it'd have been in there, been in the water if I hadn't turned up. That section under the tree, is a, that sun's beating down now. I think this is Osburton. A lovely little setting. Bridge 50. I don't think we're too far off Ranby now. Got a couple of moorings. <coughs> moorings here. And a winding hole. Not a bad spot, is it? Spend a few days. When I said back in workshop, I was uh, looking forward to seeing more more boats on the, on the canal. I've not actually seen another boat since those two boats moored up on the way out. Peace and quiet, interrupted by the noise of the A1. So we're east of the A1, just behind us there. Um, we're just coming into Randy. Nice little spot, isn't it? Beautiful spot. Be perfect if it wasn't for the noise of that residual carriageway. I spy people drinking in a beer garden. Be rude not to break up the journey. Checkers in. Another stunning little location, isn't it? This Ramby. Seeing the pub on the other side. It's uh, agonising. Wait, it felt like a long way up to this bridge just to get over the other side. That's leaving Ranby behind, behind us now. I've had about 20 minutes sit down in the pub and the check is in and a nice, I thought I'd have a pint. Ended up just having a pint of Coke, something. Just, I needed something refreshing really. But onwards we go. I think we're over halfway to, uh, to Retford now. Maintenance boat, looks like it's for removing, removing the weeds. From the canal, bottom of the canal, much needed. 
26 miles. It's a really pretty section. Look at the look at the bankings on the other side. Is that sandstone? Coming up to another lock. It's been a while since the last lock actually. Was the last lock Os Burton? I can't remember. It's not been one for a while anyway. Forest top lock. Oh, that sounds so refreshing. I think I'll have a few minutes sat on this wall, just by the lock. One thing I've noticed doing this walk today, I'd expect to, to be a few more seats on the route. I've not seen any seating. It'd be nice, I mean, it is a long way, especially if you're walking all the way to Retford, and there's not many intermediate stops, apart from Ranby. Um, there's nowhere to kind of just have a rest or a sit down, or just, you know, just to have a minute. Bridge 53, uh, this is old London Road from Barnby Moor. Look at the cracks in that. It's seen better days, hasn't it? Crikey. All the way down as well through the, into the red brick. Same at the other side as well. Great escape. Number six boats. This is more like what I was expecting, to be honest. I think uh, the Great Escape's about to come through that forest middle lock now. Forest middle bottom lock, lock 56. Got some cyclists coming up. First cyclist I've seen today. There's a snake just gone in there. Wasn't quick enough with the camera. Forest bottom lock. And showered. Showered with whatever that is that's been harvested over there. This looks a bit lower, down here the water. What a curious shaped bridge. Bridge 54. That's a unique bridge, isn't it? Just how thin it is on top. Derbyshire County Angling Club. A little bit out of their jurisdiction, aren't they? Strange, it's not as shallow at this side. You can see they've added more bricks on top. Here's a Google map view of that bridge on top. So we can see it's got a wall on one side and railings on the other, just like we saw from underneath. I think the weak bridge sign's pretty self-explanatory too. 29. I'm trying to remember what we started on. 
I think his 20s just before um, Worksop Town, isn't it? So just under just under nine miles. Here's the East Coast Main Line Bridge. It's just Phil Canal going underneath. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't glad to uh, to be on the approach to Redford now. I hope my enthusiasm's not been waning too much, um, but I am flagging a bit now. I'm no stranger to doing um, 10 mile walks or even longer when I do my do my videos. Um, but I think it's safe to say, just checking no one's coming, I think it's safe to say I am lacking a little bit in endurance at the moment. So I've been going five hours now. Well, it's five hours since I got off the train in a work stop. towpath shuck then yeah so we're on the approach into Retford town centre now houses on on the left hand side don't go anywhere yet we've not quite finished yet I've still got a few things to show you in Retford that's it lion bridge that isn't it Another nice little setting. I've never been to Retford. I've been on the outskirts, never been into the centre of Retford before. Sounds like there's a party going off somewhere. It's West Retford. like an old warehouse doesn't it got the old loading thing on this side I do believe this is the aqueduct over the river idle I don't know if it's much of a, a river at the moment it's completely dry that's if that is the aqueduct so no it's not but we can see we've got three aqueducts in a row on our approach to Retford town the aqueduct over the river and nearby to here was the scene for one of the canal's better known stories in 1978 a team from British waterways were dredging the canal in Retford town centre they came across a piece of wood attached to a chain in amongst all the canal debris that was preventing them from installing some shutterboards after some persistence and brute force, the team managed to remove the chain and went off for their lunch break. Upon returning, they found that the water from the canal had drained into the nearby River Idol. Not just the canal in Retford, but more than a mile and a half of canal had disappeared. It does make you wonder where else there are plug holes on the canal yet to be discovered, but if you do find one, please don't tug on it. What a funny story. It probably wasn't funny at the time though. coming up to Redford Town Lock. Right, that seems like a good place to leave it for today. I'll head back and get the train. So that's been a good walk. I'll get round to doing the remaining sections at some stage. I don't know if it'll be this year or not. Might leave that till next year. I'll see what kind of time um, time we've got left this summer. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Nice and relaxed and chilled out walk today. Doesn't feel like it. The legs are 
like jelly. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.